welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the first video in IB Chemistry Topic 1, Stoichiometric Relationships, where we will be looking at the types of matter, phases of matter, and concept of ideal gases. All matter can be categorised into three distinct groups. These are elements, compounds, and mixtures. Elements are considered the simplest of matter and are made of only one type of atom, as a result, they cannot be broken down into smaller or simpler particles. Compounds, however, include matter made up of two or more different atoms chemically bonded together in fixed ratios. As a result, they can be broken down into their constituent elements by chemical means. Compounds have different properties from those of their constituent elements. Mixtures include matter made up of more than one element or compound, that are not chemically bonded together. Mixtures can be separated by physical means, such as filtration. As a result, each component of the mixture retains its individual properties. There are generally two different types of mixtures you need to be aware of. Homogeneous mixtures are those in which the components are of the same state of matter, i.e. two liquids mixed together, say water and alcohol. Heterogeneous mixtures are those in which the components are in different states of matter, say a solid and a liquid, i.e. sand and water. Although matter can be categorised into three groups of elements, compounds and mixtures, within these groups matter can also be solid, liquid or gaseous, and interchange between these states, usually with changing temperature. Solids can be defined as having a fixed volume and a fixed shape, and as such they do not fill the shape of a container. The particles within solids vibrate around fixed positions due to strong intermolecular forces between the particles. Liquids can be defined as having a fixed volume but a variable shape, and as such they do fill the shape of a container. The particles slide over one another due to weak intermolecular forces between the particles. Gases can be defined as having no fixed volume and a variable shape, and as such they also fill the shape of a container. The particles move randomly in space due to very weak intermolecular forces between the particles. When changing between the different states, each phase change is associated with a process, for which you need to learn the name. Solids can form liquids via the process of melting, Liquids can then change into gases via evaporation or boiling or vaporization. These terms are synonymous. A gas can then return to a liquid state via the process of condensation. A liquid can then return to a solid state via the process of freezing. There are also two advanced processes that you need to be aware of. The first of these is when a solid changes into a gas without forming a liquid intermediate. This is called sublimation. The second process is the opposite of this, i.e. when a gas turns straight into a solid without forming a liquid intermediate. This is known as deposition. In the IB chemistry syllabus, you will also learn about a concept known as ideal gases. This is where gases are regarded as containing molecules with no volume, and with no forces between these molecules. This means the volume of an ideal gas at any given temperature and pressure depends purely on the number of particles present, not the nature or the properties of the gas or particles themselves. From this, it was determined that ideal gas will always occupy a volume of 22.7 decimeters cubed per mole at STP, which is 273 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals. When exploring ideal gases, there are several relationships that you need to be aware of. The first relationship is that of pressure versus volume. A fixed mass of an ideal gas at a constant temperature has a volume inversely proportional to pressure, i.e. as volume increases, the pressure will decrease. This is because as volume increases, particle concentration decreases, causing fewer collisions with the container, decreasing the pressure. The second relationship is pressure versus temperature. A fixed mass of an ideal gas at constant volume has a pressure directly proportional to its absolute temperature, i.e. as temperature increases, pressure will also increase. 
This is because as temperature increases, kinetic energy increases. Volume therefore increases to keep the pressure constant. The last relationship is volume versus temperature. A fixed mass of an ideal gas at a constant pressure has a volume directly proportional to its temperature in Kelvin, i.e. as temperature increases, volume will also increase. This is because as temperature increases, kinetic energy increases, which causes more collisions with the container, increasing the pressure. From these relationships, there are two very useful formulae that can be created. These include PV equals NRT, wherein this formula, P stands for pressure in pascals, V stands for volume in meters cubed, N stands for moles, R stands for the gas constant of 8.31, and T stands for temperature in Kelvin. The second formula is P1 times V1 over T1 equals P2 times V2 over T2. In this formula, P stands for pressure, V stands for volume, and T stands for temperature again in Kelvin. However, in this formula, pressure and volume can be in any units as long as they're the same on both sides of the equation. These formula will be explored in greater depth in our second video in the IB Chemistry Topic 1 video series, where we will be looking at moles, volumes, concentrations, and their related calculations. We hope you enjoyed our first video in our IB Chemistry Topic 1 video series. Check out our notes, flashcards, and questions on our website to reinforce your understanding from this video.